Doing that, I'm going to have a few after. Here's your pick of the day. She is a magnificent filly, isn't she? Yes. Yeah, for Jamie Carr. And, and what, would it, what would it mean for Jamie Carr as well to be able to take out another Group One, a feature two-year-old? As I said, just a standout as far as looks are concerned. But this is also about these two unbeaten colts. They're going to go toe to toe with two great trainers, and not only that, two superstar jockeys. And here's one of them coming in, James McDonald. So it has been an, an amazing build-up. It is the grand final. It's the world's richest is two-year-old race. It's the most important race in so many ways in Australia. We've seen some great golden slippers over the years. I don't think we've seen an epic in terms of the build-up quite like this. What unfolds over the next minute and ten seconds will be life-changing. Here's Darren Flindell. Ready to go. Set. Racing. Storm Boy was second last out of the gates. Now third last. Straight charge. Hit the gates. Running it. Handlebars down. Shangri-La Express. Lady of Camelot there. Dublin Downs rushing forward out deep on the outside of Holmes a quarter. And now Storm Boy's recovering about six and seventh behind them. Further back to Coleman. Traffic warden the rails. Uh, Switzerland's next. Two further back to Bodyguard, then Prost on the rails, a length and a half to Anisa. Further back, Ruta Real from Manal, and Hayasugi's last of all. So Shangri-La Express went up inside, straight charge to lead. Shangri-La Express, an actor straight charge. Dublin down three wide third, followed by fully lit Lady of Camelot. Now Storm Boy is cluttered up behind runners. On the outside, Holmes are caught, traffic warden, and Switzerland in the middle of the ruck. Into the straight, Shangri-La Express just in front of straight charge, going up the inside. Fully lit and Storm Boy, Lady of Camelot behind them, three lengths away to Switzerland, and wide out Coleman running on. Storm Boy's got the run on the inside. Coleman wide out with Lady of Camelot. It's Coleman, Lady of Camelot. Coleman ahead in front to Lady of Camelot. Coleman, Lady of Camelot. The Lady dives and Lady of Camelot got up. Lady of Camelot, a spectacular win in the Golden Slipper, beat Coleman, and third Storm Boy in front of Traffic Warden. Further back then to Manal making good headway from Prost, straight charge, Switzerland, Dublin down, Shangri-La Express, Anisa, bodyguard, Holmes Accord, Ruta Real and Hayasugi. Have a look at that guy, Storm Boy, <laughs> Storm Boy, he can't win, oh! The filly, the filly. <laughs> She's won an eighth. She's won an eighth. Golden slipper, Blake. Shin gets a second. Brutal. Absolutely brutal golden slipper. Storm Boy missed the kick. Had his chance maybe in the straight. Coleman nearly pulls off the heist. The filly comes through to win for Blake Shin. And Gay and Adrian do it again. And Gay gets to 160 group ones. Eight eight golden slippers. Quite remarkable. I'm so happy for Gay Waterhouse and Adrian Bott because they had such a strong arsenal where unpacked the rest of the team as we go through. But it looked as though Coleman was going to be able to really pinch it. You saw he surged clear and then Lady of Camelot ridden off the speed like we've seen her ridden in a recent trial was able to give her very best. She actually deserved that considering what she's been able to do in a blue diamond, run second in a blue diamond and then go on and win a golden slipper. I'm not sure what to make of the rest of the field. There's so much more to unpack. As you mentioned, Storm Boy had his chance. Switzerland looked as though he just was off the bit the entire race, and there were some really good runs in behind as well. But it was the most brutal golden slipper and the toughest one. That blue diamond, that blue diamond has just stood up left, right and centre, hasn't it? So 14-10.